Write a storyboard for online training. Online training courses are popular nowadays since a lot of education is done online through computer or web-based training programs. Now preparing the online course is not an easy thing to do if it is your first time. Basically, you will be writing a storyboard that will present each step of the training course in pages very much like a PowerPoint presentation. Here are some steps and tricks on how to write a good storyboard for your online training program. Create a storyboard template. When writing the storyboard for your online training course, you will need to start out by creating the template you use. Start with a blank page or slide and fill it up with the appropriate background. Prepare the template starting with a title page, body pages, and other pages that can supplement the main pages of your training course. Save a copy of the template to be used for other online training courses. Write the title page. Start the storyboard by writing the title page of the training course. Type in the title of the training course and position it in the middle of the page. Make sure to include credits for the training course and the date of the course, if applicable. You may want to include a brief or short instructional on how to work the training course such as navigating through its pages and stuff. Write the objectives. After the title page and short instructional, dedicate a page for the objectives of the online training course. This should be clearly stated so that the trainee or reader will know what to expect after undergoing the particular training course. Write an overview. The course overview can either be integrated with the course objective page or on a separate page that basically summarizes what the course will provide the trainee in terms of skills and knowledge. Set text and graphic limitations on each page. Like any presentation, a storyboard online training course module or material will need to have certain limitations on each page with regards to the illustrations, graphics, media, and text. For instance, each page may be limited to about 5 to 20 lines of text depending on the scale of the font used. If you are planning to incorporate certain illustrations or media, then you will need to lessen the lines of text further. The reason for putting a limit on the information on each page of the storyboard is so that each page will be easy to read. Furthermore, this limit will reduce the chances of overwhelming the reader or trainee with information on every single page. And the course in relation to the objectives and overview. The storyboard for the online training course should always end relevant to the objectives and overview you wrote on the early pages of the storyboard. The training course won't amount to much if it ends with no sense or relation at all. 
the finishing touches to a strong storyboard for an online training course can be applied by adding a twist at the end by way of a short quiz or test to see if the trainee or reader learned anything from the course. This will ensure that the objectives for the training course were met.